What's up, y'all? Welcome to a new map, Mordor. We're gonna be playing an FFA this time around, and it looks like we got Mordor. Perfect. Getting Mordor on Mordor. What more can you want? All right, FFA between four players. Last Samurai, Samurai Killer, Yoda, and us here. Let us go. Let's check out this new map. We got Mordor, so that's good. It looks pretty immersive so far on this map. Uh, get that orc pick going. I haven't played in quite a while, a few months, maybe, or a month or so. So we're going to be rusty, boys. We're going to be rusty. So let's try to get back into this game. Only been really playing campaign and AI stuff. So haven't played multiplayer in a while. So we'll see what we can do here. But let's check out the map. I haven't played on this map either yet. Seen it a little bit, but haven't really played on it. So we'll see what's going on here. I don't know where any of the lairs are or any of that stuff. Let's get some orcs queued up. And, oh, there's Lair. Uh, what's, uh, what else is on this map? Is there any more settlements here? Oh, yeah. Oh, crap. Run, 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 run. No, run. Oh, oxes are coming. All right, let's get these guys back away. All right, can we actually find any more settlements? I don't know. There's a lot too many around us. All right, what do we have? Oxes. Yeah, we have oxes. What do we need? What do we go for? Hmm in this match i guess just standard stuff maybe trolls sound good all right looks like he's gonna be eyeing you're gonna really go for us huh let's use our eye as well and we have two orcs against his one so we should be able to win and we have some of these uh lumber camps going on here all right are we gonna win this yeah i think we're gonna yeah protect this yes nice uh, alright. I don't think there's not much else we can do. We have, like, two, uh, settlements, and that's just about it, for now at least. We can creep that war glare later on. Let's try to go pressure him in the meantime. The map is still kind of, uh, still trying to figure it out a little bit. It's a little bit confusing here. It's definitely a new one. <laughs> trying to figure out where all of the stuff is here. All right, I think we got uh, situated a little bit now. All right, so what do we need? Probably just slaughterhouses, right? So we can build up our eco, get some trolls going. Maybe get some Muma kill later on. Yeah, that sounds really good, right? Always need some Muma kill. Mumix. All right, we're going to be able to potentially get that lumber camp. That should be pretty nice for us. Got three slaughterhouses now. Try to move around, try to harass a little bit. And see what we can find across the map. So far, one more door. More door over here. Let's just go over here as well. It looks like Gondor over on this side. Okay, Gondor, more door so far. So two more door, one Gondor. All right, getting up our base going now. Looks like he has a lot of infantry there. Looks like he crept. Potentially. All right, this motor is doing pretty much the same exact thing as us as well. Slaughterhouses, orc pit, and all that stuff. Yeah, he has leveled up soldiers there. There's more orcs over here. That's not good. We don't have anything in position. But we do pretty much have a full base almost. Let's get our lumber mill guys back away from this. Come on, select them. Ah, we're not on the host, so it's definitely delayed a little bit. All right, we're going to just save it for that troll cage now. That should be good, but we don't have that mill, so it's going to be a little bit costly, but we can't really delay it. Oh, we forgot Gollum. Whoopsie. Yeah, that's a big problem. We actually forgot Gollum. Whoops. Haven't played in a while, so rip. All right, Gollum should be able to help us here in this case, then. We should be able to win with his help, hopefully. Let's get some more orcs queued up. We get that troll cage going. We can't really delay. We can't, uh, yeah. We gotta get it right now. Get this up next. Don't want to wait for it. I mean, it's gonna give us uh, some bonuses to make our troll cage cheaper, but whatever. Not worth it. We need that out ASAP because, I mean, if we delay it any longer, we can maybe see Gondor Knights or something sketchy coming to us soon enough. And that would pretty much uh, be bad. We wouldn't have anything against the horses. 
All right, let's creep here in the meantime. We should be able to secure this another settlement. That's going to be nice for us. Very nice, very nice. All right, Gollum, you can go and lure them away. So we can creep with the orcs in the meantime. All right, there we go. We should be able to get in now with the Eye of Sauron pretty easily. All right, nice. Should be able to get that secured. That's going to be nice for us. That troll queued up our first troll of the game. Let's keep pressuring a little bit. Nice, we got that down really quickly. Maybe even can get it down. Oh, Gollum going to be targeted down. He's going to go down. Yeah, he can't get away. Nope. Let's get the orcs here. Let's get the eye on them. Should be able to beat them. Yeah. My level 2 orc. Orc. Look at that orc level 2. He should be able to beat them. Come on, beat them. Get them down. We need that lumber mill. It's going to be important for us. We need that eco. All right, let's pressure over there. In the meantime, get some more of these guys queued up and ready to go. All right, we got this now. That's going to be great for us. And we can see that he's getting pressured, actually. Okay. Some Gondor Knights over there. We have a troll, though, so we can be pretty protected against those Gondor Knights now. Should be able to protect ourselves. Let's get some extra towers. Uh, just in case. Never know, he might be able to get fast upgrades or something. Yeah, he already has upgrades, so yeah, just like, just what I'm talking about. We gotta get defenses going, just in case. But our trolls should be enough here to protect ourselves a bit. Alright, he's kind of roaming around, maybe over here? Let's go over here with our troll, see what's going on. Looks like he has pretty much everything right now. He has his own farm, he has the farm over there on the other side and he also has the farm in the middle so he has he's actually dominating the map right now so we got to change that and we got to try to get the map back a little bit we can have gondor getting the map they're going to get gandalf early and all kinds of nasty junk and who's the other player yoda where's yoda at yoda haven't seen him yet haven't seen what faction he is Alright, we got this. Should be able to get that down. He can't really contest us. Alright, let's get some more towers in this case. Make sure we're fully defended. And we have trolls going now, left and right. That's good. We have this now captured. We can try to go for this one, maybe. And we might be able to get that farm down as well in the meantime. We're definitely gonna... Deny some farms from him a little bit. Oh, there's Yoda. Oh, Gondor. Another Gondor. We're going to probably lose that troll, right? Unless we micro him here. We're going to use the guard mode on a different farm. And that's going to allow our troll to get away. Otherwise, he's going to be just slow and he's going to be caught up and taken out. So that's a trick you can use. Guard mode to run away uh, with your trolls like that. All right. What do we have here? We have a lot of trolls now, ready to go now. Let's pick up their big dongers, and we should go. Get ready soon. We need drummer trolls still, though. Looks like they're fighting a little bit. That's good. That's good. Let the Gondors fight. Fight it out while we capture all of these middle settlements here. Let's get Slaughterhouse this time. Because it doesn't make me much sense to get a lumber mill there in the middle. It's going to get taken down anyway, so... And there's not too many trees there in the middle that are too too close by. Actually, the trees are pretty far away for lumber mills on this map. Alright, we have a drummer troll, so that's great. We have leadership now. We need Witch King, though, but that's going to take a long time. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to save up some power points to get industry going. And... Uh, but we are pretty good right now. We're pretty strong. Uh, defensively, at least. We can't really go for an attack, really. But we're going to be definitely defending ourselves quite well. Nice. That's going to give us some power points here. We need Tainted Land first, though. So not quite yet. For that industry, looks like he's going to be fighting us over there. So, alrighty. I mean, losing Oxes is no big deal. That's going to give us some more power points. So that's great for us. In the end, looks like our army is getting stronger. Some swordmen over there, or some gunner knights. Let's go over there. Try to take that back, perhaps. If we possibly can. Get that troll. Make sure he picks up a tree. Oh. Uh-oh. 
let's get this down real quick. Okay. No, we have to probably fight it out. We can't really do anything here, right? Uh, try to trying to get out of there, but the drummer troll is going to be taken out. Yeah, I mean we have to sacrifice a little bit there. Bad fight to take. Can we get out though? Yeah, we can. At least we saved two of our trolls, so that's good. Not too big of a deal. We can make more of them. Drummer troll is no biggie. We have another one already prepared back at home, so no big deal there. Oh, but he's coming though. Uh oh, we have to probably take the fight now. Yeah, let's use Eye of Sauron. Let's use everything here. And let's go for maybe Fodomir. Fodomir is there, chilling. Yeah, let's go for Fodomir. Let's take him down. We don't want to use our Tainted Land right now. It's not going not gonna to be good. He's going to cover it, so... Did we get Fodomir? Yeah, we're going to get him. Oh, he healed. Dang it. Let's try to get him down, though. He's going to get knocked down. He can't get away. So that's good for us. And yeah, we're going to get him down. That's very nice. At least he has Bodomir, though, as well. And looks like Bodomir might be able to take us down with that summon rangers as well that's gonna deal so much damage to us but can we get Bordermir? maybe it's gonna be very close we're gonna try to focus him down if we can but he's all over the place can we tell where is he can't even see him there he is get him drummer troll get him oh oh man the troll got knocked down ah dang it oh well and that's pretty bad for us but what can you do against such monstrosities Boromir is too strong. He knocks you down all the time. All the rangers attacking you as well. Those are the counter to the trolls. So we can't really do too much there. We could have kind of fallen back a bit. But we would have lost our lumber camp. Alright, but we're still fine. I mean, he's not going to be able to do anything to our base and not our eco as well. So we're going to be fine here. We're going to just sit here. But wait it out a bit. And it looks like we're not getting pressured at the moment, so that's good. But we did lose a lot. Got a drummer troll back. Try to get it up uh, for that Witch King. Witch King is definitely expensive, though. 8,000 resources. That's going to take quite a while. So we're going to have to sit here for a while. Quite a bit. We had that industry going, so that's going to give it, get it quite quickly. Hopefully. Alright, we're not going to buy anything. Going to wait for that Witch King... And that's all we can do right now. Just sit here and wait it out. We have a drummer troll. That's good. Two drummer trolls is always nice to have. Just in case one goes down. You have an extra one. Okay. <clears throat> it's going to spam it now. Spam it, spam it, spam it until we get him out. Oh yeah, get that spam going. Let's get him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. I also can capture this as well. Nice. Can get something going over there. Get these guys on this guy. Make sure he doesn't go for that slaughterhouse we are building up. Alright. Now we need more trolls. We need that witch king to come out. We are going to have a nice army. Powerful army of trolls. Drummer troll. Witch king. All that leadership is going to be nice. Looks like he already has his witch king. So, looks like he's been getting a lot of monies, or maybe just saving up. Maybe he hasn't lost anything, really. Unlike us, we did lose quite a bit. Nice, there is the Witch King. We are pretty strong now. We have a ton of leadership. Let's get this troll to pick up a tree. There we have it, just like that. And now, let, let's just assess the map, assess the situation. What do we do from this point on? Probably just get up our army going here. Just play defensively for now. For a little while. Maybe see what's happening. Try to go for some other units here. Yeah, let's go. Let's get potentially some Mumix out on the field. That's going to be great. We have enough eco. We're going to have industry back up soon enough. Get some Mumix going. Get our army going very strong. With all that leadership. All that good stuff. We're going to be looking great here. And uh, just going to wait a little bit here. I mean, two Gondors. We're going to try to attack the Mordor maybe. But 
And that means the Gondor will probably attack us in the meantime. So we're going to just wait a little bit here. Wait it out. Build our Mumix. And maybe, uh, yeah, it's going to have some fun with the Mordor. He's coming. Alright, we don't actually need all of that for that. We just need the Witch King there to go and deal with that. That's going to be all it takes. Alright, let's get that Haradrim Palace going now. So, we need those Haradrims for the Muma kill. And we're going to have a very, very strong army going into this one. While they're kind of battling each other out. And losing their forces. Which, I mean, it's pretty good. You get power points for that, but... Yours are going to be a lot weaker. We're going for the late game. We're going for the strength. We're going for the big army so we can crush all other armies. Get the power points a lot quicker. And let's try to win the late game. We are Mordor. So that is what our plan is to win the late game. Looks like he's fully upgraded over there. Alright, first movement kill out on the field. That's great. Let's get another one. All right, let's sell that. Make sure we deny the power points and uh, let's just go in here. The door is open. The front door is open, so we can just kind of wander in here. He's not going to deal with our orcs with his uh, cavalry, so I'm just going to walk in. Say hi. Say hi to his well. Yeah, he's going to chill there. Okay, that's good. That's fine. We're going to take out your well, buddy. <laughs> You're going to let the orcs walk by you. They're gonna walk right into your front door. If the door is open, I'm gonna walk in. Now he's going back to deal with that, but we took out a well. That's actually pretty good. We got some power points. Not bad. But he's gonna take him out now. Get our Witch King back. We can sell that. Also wanna try to deny power points for the Mordor. All right, two Muma killed. That is looking great right now. We need another Haradrim. There we go. There's that Haradrim. Very nice. Get them on top of the Muma kill. And our army is looking very, very strong. All right. Let's try to get that army going. Try to get Max out. Maybe, maybe go for an attack at some point. A devastating big attack. Oh, looks like we're getting attacked in the meantime. Okay. There's not much to eat. There's not much here, though. Get our Witch King over there in that case. I mean, he can probably deal with that quite well. Another Muma kill. Nice. Our Muma kill pen is leveled up. All right. Up oh, Gandalf. He can do a bit of damage there. Yeah, he's going to do some damage, but... I'm not going to be able to finish this off, but he's going to finish it off now. In this case, he has a lot here. Yeah, we're going to lose the Witch King. No, let's just do as much damage as we possibly can with him. And then engage on top of him. We should be able to win this out now. We lost the Witch King, but that is fine. We should be able to win this battle, though. Quite uh, easily. The Witch King tanked everything for us and did a lot of damage. Come on, guys. Attack all of this crap. What are you guys doing? All right, nice. That's a pretty good victory here. We didn't lose a, a single troll or anything like that. I mean, losing our Witch King definitely hurt, but I mean, it's free to get back. But it's going to take a long freaking time to get back, so we can't really do too much now. That's some nice power points, though. We got some juicy power points. Didn't lose any of our army strength. Got six power points in the bank now. We can try to take some of these. Try to get some eco going. And our trolls should be able to defend our base in the meantime. We're getting pressured a little bit, but not by too much here. Looks like they were fighting. Out in the middle as well. Probably with, uh, yeah, Yoda is over there. He's a little bit scary. We gotta walk away from that. We can't really deal with that right now. He's gonna counter us, counter our whole entire army comp with that ranger. And for, oh, we're gonna charge in though. Yeah, come here. Yeah, look at that. That is a nice trample. At least we got something out of that. Yeah, nice. Look at that Muma kill go. We did quite a bit of damage. Not too shabby. All right, we have another Muma kill. We cleaned up here. We should be able to take this out, take this back for ourselves. Looking good. Looking nice. 
All right, seven power points on the bang. That's looking great. Gonna get darkness. Oh, it looks like we're gonna get attacked, though. Uh-oh, he's gonna use a Rohan ally summon. We're gonna get darkness, though. We're gonna pick that up here, try to deal with this. He has Gandalf the White as well. This could be a little bit bad for us. We might be able to take out our slaughterhouses, which is gonna be pretty bad for us. They're at level three, though. Uh-oh, we're gonna try to go in here, try to go for his Gandalf in the meantime. And whoa, 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 what the heck was that? Our Muma kill. What? You can trample trolls with Muma kill? What the frick was that? Oh my goodness, that's so bad. We just lost like all of our trolls to the Muma kill. And now we won't be able to get Gandalf in the meantime. That's so bad. I didn't know you could actually trample monsters with Muma kill. I thought it was only infantry. What the heck was that? Alright, that was bad. I'm actually not sure. Can you even. I don't know if you can even trample monsters in like Beef of Me 2 and Rise of the Witch King, so. It's like different. I've never seen that in Beef of Me 2 at least. I don't know if you can trample monster units. Huh. That is weird. Alright, we learned something. So we can trample our own monster units, so okay. That's pretty bad, but I mean, we still are fine. We have a big army, so. We have some combos now, Orc Archers, combos. We have Witch King back in action as well, so we have that full leadership. We have, yeah, we have Drummer Troll. Let's get some combos now. We got a very nice looking Mordor composition here. Muma kill, Trolls, Drummer Trolls, Witch King, combos. Our Mordor is definitely harassing us a lot though, trying to get the... Uh, that uh, slaughterhouse down try to capture it for himself but we need that for ourselves we need that eco we don't have too much right now he did take out our slaughterhouses as well our level threes that's gonna hurt us a lot uh yeah i lost two of them so we are in the dumpster right now in terms of economy but we have a massive army a full freaking army right now we can probably go for an attack soon I mean, we're playing pretty defensively, but, I mean, we have the slowest army ever. This is such a slow freaking army. Moves at the speed of a snail. So, it's going to take us such a long... This map is pretty big, too, so it takes such a freaking long time to get across the map. Especially with this Mumakil force. They are slower than freaking tortoises. Alright, look at that. We have some nice combos assembled. The Witch King is there. We can probably maybe save up for another Fell Beast. Alright, Troll. Get that tree. Pick that up right now. Come on. I'm so annoying to... What? I guess he doesn't want to pick it up. Why don't you pick it up? What the heck is he doing? Can he pick up this one? Alright, Fire Arrows. Banner on that one. And this is like de delaying ourselves. Look how slow this guy is. He's taking his time to go over here. This is like taking so much time to freaking pick up a tree. All right, let's try to get these guys back to level three. You're going to pick it up or not? There we go. Finally. Holy frick, man. Only took a year. Only took like half the game time to pick that up. All right, let's go over here in this meantime. Maybe it can go for a siege. We have a lot. We have a ton here to break in. Some trolls, some mumics, a lot of stuff here. And combos to take out the Gandalf. Pretty quickly. And what do we have here? What the frick is this? Stoneworker? Yeah. What the heck is this lame? Yeah, we can't go in. If we go in right now, we're going to feed him Army of the Dead power points. We're going to lose everything, like, in a second. Uh, Stoneworker is definitely, like, bro... What? Yoda has been defeated. Uh-oh. That is interesting. Huh. Who defeated him? I guess Mordor? Maybe? Yeah, Mordor looks like defeated uh, Yoda. Uh-oh. <laughs> Yoda didn't have Stoneworker, so that's why he got defeated. But yeah, Stoneworker is like the most OP thing in the game. You cannot attack Gondor with that crap. That crap is broken. I don't think it should be in the game. It's actually literally broken beyond belief. 
You can't do anything when uh, Gondor has that. You have to wait for Balrog summon. If you go for that, you're going to lose everything. You're going to feed him army of the dead power points. You're going to lose the game. It's a horrible, terrible playstyle. Terrible thing in the game. Like, Rohan doesn't have a stone worker. Why does Gondor need one? It's stupid. I mean, stone worker is good for, like, campaign and stuff. But against multiplayer FFAs, it's freaking lame. You can't... You just have to wait for Balrog. You can't attack ever. If you do, you're going to throw the game. You're going to lose. 100% chance you can't attack a Stoneworker battle tower, laser tower base. And that's not gonna work. That laser towers one shot your trolls, they one shot Mumix, one shot everything. One shot your Witch King. Nope, nope, nope. You can also upgrade your walls as well, make them a lot tankier. Alright, so in that case, we can't really do anything to Gondor. We're gonna have to just let him be for now. We have to just use Balrog. That's the only thing you can do against Gondor. With Stoneworker, Balrog. Uh, we're gonna focus on the Mordor in the meantime. That's the only thing we can do. At least Mordor doesn't have any Stoneworker, any kind of defenses. So we can just kind of walk on in and uh, take him out. While we try to save up for the, which are the Balrog. Yeah, he's going to be pressuring us a lot. That's going to be quite annoying. It's such an annoyance that we can't really do anything to him. We can't pressure him at all. Without feeding him uh, Army of the Dead. And if we feed that to him, we're going to lose everything. We're going to lose the game instantly. Because Army of the Dead can destroy literally our whole army. And this army is like freaking expensive. Like 20k army. We have like four Mumikill here with all Haradrums, combos fully upgraded, a lot of trolls here. Very, very expensive armor that uh, AOD can definitely take down pretty much instantly. Alright, we might have to fall back here. We took the middle a little bit though, so that's good. We're gonna have some eco. I don't know about the siege works. I mean, maybe... I mean, we built the siege works to try to siege the Gondor, but it's gonna take way too long. I guess that's the only thing you can do against Stoneworker base, I guess, Catapults. Try to siege him down, but he can take them out quite easily, so... Oof. Ouch. That definitely hurt a ton there. Our Witch King is very low. Alright, gotta rebuild a little bit here. It looks like he's gonna lose quite a bit, though. He's gonna use land. We can use land here as well. Alright, gonna cover that right away. He lost quite a bit from that, so, okay. Got some power points in the bank now. Oh, he's gonna try to attack us in this case. Can we get him down? Mm, not quite. Almost, though. Frick, that was so close. Looks like he took out all of our attack trolls, though. We're gonna try to build him up a little bit more now. He didn't take out any Mumikill or any of our combos, so that's great. Our Witch King also survived barely there. But he once again took out our slaughterhouses. Our eco is not going to look too great any longer, but we are okay for now, at least. I don't know about catapults, though. <laughs> Might just stick with this army. Troll, movement kill, combos, flyers, fell beast. Seems okay. And might go for the Mordor. Now, soon enough here, once we rebuilt everything. Our Witch King is healing back up. That's good to see. That's great to see. He's going to be... Uh, he's still a little bit too low, though. Gandalf can definitely take him out right now. Let me send him back a little bit here, just to be safe. And Mordor. Mordor's feeding us some power points. That's good. Got to take back the map control here in the meantime. We can't let Gondor take it all. Or Mordor in that case. Yeah, Mordor might have taken out or taken the whole map control at the bottom side since they uh, did eliminate the other player, the other Gondor down there. Looks like uh, Gondor actually has the, the middle, but now nah, we have the middle, so that's good. Uh, of course, we're playing for late game, just like I said. Gonna go for that late game. That is our plan. We will try to go for that. And still try to be a little bit defensive here. We're gonna just wait for them to come to us. It's better for them to come to us. 
that means we will have the uh, kind of defender's advantage here. Alright, looks like nothing too crazy over here. Looks like everyone's kind of chilling a bit. We have a Nazgul now. Another Nazgul coming. Oh yeah, we forgot to use industry. Whoopsie. Thought I used that there last time. Alright, can we do anything about this base? I don't think so, right? Hmm. Kind of want to try to break in, though. Oh, no, we can't do that now. That is not the time to do it. We need power points. Try to get power points. We should go for the Mordor, not the Gondor. Oh, that's good. The Mordor is coming to us, so that is great news for us in that case. So, we should be able to crush that Mordor army quite easily. We have way more. He has no Muma kill. He has a lot of combos, though, so those are going to be okay against our Muma kill. That's going to suck. He's going to... Yeah, we have to sell this. Sell all this before he can take that down. But we should be able to crush this army quite easily, though. We have the superior numbers here. We have the Muma kill armies. We have two Fell Beast Witch King as well here. Or one Fell Beast, one Witch King. So we kind of outnumber him. We have Darkness as well. So should be easily able to get a very nice victory here. Muma kill, go in. Whoa, Muma kill. What the heck is he doing? <laughs> what the heck was that? The Muma kill is crazy. Oh, just trampled down all of his drummer trolls and everything. Holy frick, man. They didn't go down, though, in one hit. Interesting. Huh. Why did ours go down in one hit? I think our, only our mountain trolls went down the last time. Do, do, do. Bum, bum, bum. The two Eye of Sauron's looking around. All right. Now that we had that decisive victory, we can go in for that weakened Mordor now. We can try to go in, try to take him down a bit. But we're going to try to rebuild here, try to get back everything we lost there in the process. Uh, get more Mumix here, get everything going here. Haradrims. Uh, what do we need here as uh, a building? Uh, do we need anything? Um, I don't know. Probably not. Slaughterhouse, I guess. I don't know. Fort Siege works. I really want to go for the Siege, though, of Gondor, but... Probably not going to happen. Da, da, da. We have 10 power points though saved up, so 10 more for the Balrog someone, but now I guess we can go for the Mordor base. Uh, yeah. We should be able to get our... Whoa, he actually rebuilt that quickly already? What the heck was that, man? He just destroyed everything he had, and now he has everything back. In a second. Alright, the good thing is we still have the superior Mumikill advantage. And that's all that matters. Mumix are king here. Mumix are incredibly strong. Let's get that bell beast. So we have three of them. We don't really have too many trolls here, but we do have uh, Mumikil and uh, Fell beast here. He looks like he has witch king. And this should give us some nice power points, though. Oh, what's going on here? Is Gondor over here as well? Oh. Okay. Oh, the eagle summon and everything is here. Oh, he's going to lose his Witch King, though. It's not good for him. Oh, that Witch King got annihilated there. Oh, Gandalf is in the mix there as well. In the middle of everything. He might go down. Will he go down? Oof. Looks like he's getting out of there. Oh, it's the perfect time to go in, though. He is preoccupied. What a timing. What an opportunity for us to explore here. Let's go in, Mooma Kill. Go in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't quite make it. Oh, yeah. Trample it down. Get those power points going. Let's use that industry in the meantime. All right. Nice. Our Mooma Kill. That's all you need in BFME 1. Just make Mooma Kill. They are the best units in the game. Bar none. Incredibly powerful. One shot everything in the game. 
And they are super tanky. And especially with leadership, with drummer troll, with witch king, with eye of Sauron, with all the buffs, they are invincible armies right now. All right, nice. Our witch king got out of there with like one HP there, so that's good. Let's trample down those drama trolls. Oh yeah, we got some more moon kill. I'm gonna make sure to rebuild in the meantime. Make sure we are rebuilding everything. We're kind of playing a little bit lazy here for our first time after a while. Not really hawking anything. Just playing lazily. But uh, we're going to have enough power points here soon enough for the Balrog. Can we finish off Mordor? I don't know. Might be close though. We'll definitely do a ton of damage to him. Weaken him a ton. But want to try to keep him in the game too. Don't really want to eliminate him right now. As he's going to be quite useful here for us. He's going to be the only... Uh, yeah, he's going to be the, our only way to potentially win this game out he's gonna yeah <laughs> i'm gonna keep him alive because i mean he might have balrog summon too and I, i'm just gonna hope he doesn't use that on us <laughs> hopefully he uses it on the gondor base because the gondor base is invincible all right i don't think he can really do too much to us right now though we can sell that slaughterhouse no problem Okay. We are slowly rebuilding ourselves and playing very, very defensively this game. I mean, kind of like that play style personally. I like being defensive here. I mean, if we were super offensive, we probably would have lost everything by now. Lost our base, like, how many times this game? Quite a few times. We would have definitely lost, though, because that Mordor, the Mordor wouldn't have taken us out, though. We would have been attacking the Gondor base, and we would have lost. So it's better play defensively than just losing. But you also need to play offensively, too, because you need power points. You need the Balrog summon, you need your good summons, your good power points later on. So it's a fine balance of both. Get that new Moma kill moving! Alright, we have a big army now. Pretty much fully maxed out here sh soon enough. Looks like he uh, elected to build some uh, rangers now. Alright, but we do have Witch King. Should be able to take them now quite easily. We have everything else here as well. Oh, he almost took out our Fell Beast. Not quite enough though, but we should be able to take out this whole army. And is that going to give us enough power points for the Balrog Summon? Let's see. Let's try to chase him down a little bit here with the Witch King maybe. Not quite though, but very close. Nice, we took out that Ranger there. He lost pretty much everything. On the ground at least, but his horses are going to get away. Alright, run, 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 Witch King. Oof. Fodomir might have, uh, might be able to take him down if he has Wounding Arrow, but I don't think he has it. Alright, that was a little bit close there, but getting out everything alive and well. Get our third Fell Beast. Alright, it's 19 power points. One more. One more, and we can maybe try to make something happen here. Oh, I mean, we're so close here. He even has catapults. Nasty creature. Stoneworker and catapults. Yeah, there's no way we can do anything against that. Got to buy ourselves some time. We left Mordor alive, so he should be rebuilding himself. Yeah, trebuchet, stoneworker. Oh, Eagle Summon. Oh, Eagle Summon might give us enough power points here. Let's use uh, Tainted Land. Our combo should be able to take him out, hopefully, quite quickly. McKill, take out the Trebuchet. Nice. We're almost there. Almost there, boys. We almost have it. One more. One more nano, nano point. McKill, can you get it? Yes, we have it, boys. We have the Palrog Summon. Now we can make something happen here. 
And let us go, boys. Let us make this happen. Let's use it here. Maybe try to clip some of his army. Looks like not going to happen, though. But we're going to go right for that base. Let's fly on in here. Use Ignite while flying. Get this nasty creature, Stoneworker Trebuchet Spammer. What a filthy creature. Abusing a Gondor completely. What is this, though? <sighs> what is this Balrog? It's so bad. I think something's bugged with the Balrog in this patch. <laughs> he took like three hits to take that down. That is so bad. Oh, Gandalf, you want to play, my friend? Come here, Gandalf. Boom! Right to your face. Come here, my friend, Gandalf. Who do you think you are? You're no match for the Balrog. Our nice terror, we have it. Even Gandalf getting a spank right to the face. But this Balrog is like... Yeah, something is very bugged in this um, patch, I think. The Balrog damage is so bad. Three hits to take down the Citadel? Yeah, something is foobarred. Probably gonna be fixed though soon. Very soon. Oh, another Balrog summon right on top of his whole entire army. Double Balrog. Two Balrogs, one Gondor. That's what I'm talking about. That's why we saved that Mordor. We kept him alive just for that. And now he can definitely finish off the Gondor base and get rid of the Stoneworker. Freaking spammer. Get this crap out of it. It takes 500 Balrogs to kill a Gondor. Stoneworker spammer. I hate Stoneworker. Stoneworker is so stupid. Is it going to be enough though? Is two Balrogs enough to take down a Stoneworker Gondor player? I hope so. I mean, if it's not enough, that is ridiculous. Gondor has to be the strongest faction in the game. That is the case. Surviving two Balrogs. I think it's going to be enough, is it? Oh yeah, it should be, right? Ooh, this damage, though. What is this damage? Come on, get it. Oh, nice. Barely two Balrogs. Full duration to take down a Condor base. That is crazy. GG's well played there. <laughs> That's why we kept him alive. We kept that Mordor alive just for that. Two Balrogs, one Gondor action. You love to freaking see it. That is definitely for sure. You definitely love to see that. No man that is 100% certain. No man. Oh yeah. No Alright, what do we have here? here. We have a scavenger. Let's just quietly pick that up. And try to go for another attack force here. Mordor should be prepared though. He should be having enough uh, time to rebuild everything and get back his army. So this might be a very strong final attempt here. But the real threat has been eliminated. The Gondor is gone. So no more AOD to worry about. AOD is the scariest part. Oh, we have to fall back here, boys. We have to defend ourselves here. I don't think we can go for a base trade. There's no way. He's already at our base. We're going to lose this if we do. And the rule about uh, FFAs, we can't capture other opponents' bases. So one base is all we get. So we have to protect this base at all costs. Let's try to sell some stuff here. Get our money back at least a little bit. Man, he already has Balrog someone. I guess it doesn't really matter too much. But we have, we're going to get money back. Alright, let's get everything into position here. We can let our base tank a while. That's no problem. We can afford this. We will let our base do the tanking. Oh, he's doing a lot of damage though. Alright, we have to go in soon though. Let's get everything together. Let's go in now. He is focusing down our base though. He's not gonna let us regroup ourselves it seems. But we're gonna be able to once again achieve a decisive victory again we're always achieving such decisive victories against a mordor but he's also quite um a pain in our rear end right now taking out our half of our whole entire base more than half actually whoa what the heck was that duh, duh. He definitely likes combos which are pretty good against our muma kill spam Oh, he's lost. He lost quite a bit of Fell Beast, though. 
Yeah, he lost one fell beast. Another one? He's gonna lose another one. He's not paying attention there. Might lose the Witch King too. Oh yeah, boys. Look at that charge. That is definitely worth it for us there. Oh my goodness gracious. This took out like everything with one Mumu kill. Very nice. I mean, is it worth it? I don't know. Probably not. For us, at least. That Mumu kill is more expensive than those combos. That is 100% a fact. It's like a 2,000 Mumu kill. 1,500? 2,000? I don't know. Something like that. Plus the Haradrim. Yeah, 2,000. Probably more than 2,000 with the banner. Wait, banner? I don't think we get that, right? Can you get banner? That's not beef me too, is it? Dude, oh god, be careful. Run, 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 run. Back, back, back. Oof, that was close. Nice. Feared them. Now, time to go for a final assault, maybe? Can we do it? He has a lot, though. He has a counter to us as well. Just a fire arrow spam. So good against our Muma kill here. But let's try to go in here. Let's try to go for that charge attack. Yeah, he's splitting everywhere here. He knows what to do against this. This is no rabble of mindless Mordor player. This is one of the better, one of the best Mordor players in the game right now. All right, nice. I'm gonna tremble down everything. Nice, look at that. That is a pretty, okay, victory. I mean, that's a costly victory for us, but I think we're achieving something. Definitely trying to take out his army at least. Try to make him not as strong. That is good. Gonna have Balrog summon up soon as well. Oh yeah. Got another Muma kill alive. So we can try to do some damage here in the meantime. Try to take out maybe his orc pits here. Try to make him stop. Stop him from spamming all of those freaking orc archers all the time. That is so good against our whole entire unit composition right now. Nice, we took down that orc pit, so no more orcs for him. We got one out of them. One out. Our German troll can kind of go back and forth here, so we can get that uh, bonus for uh, our armies. Oh yeah, he's lost quite a bit, though. Come on, ya orcs. All right, might have to get these guys out of here, though. Don't want to lose them. It takes way too long for them to be rebuilt. But we're still being quite annoying here, taking out his units or his buildings. Maybe try to go for that Citadel. Take that Citadel down. It's going to stop him from rebuilding. Use our Balrog summon here in the meantime. Let's go in. Silence them. Oh, nice. Let's use Ignite in midair here. Try to take out that stupid Citadel. So tanky. Boom. Nice. There we go. Let's use Fire Breath. He's going to have Balrog summon two in, in a second. So we got to get out of here soon. Get out of our main base. All right. Looks like that didn't really do too much there. That Fire Breath. Something's really screwed, screwed up with the Balrog in this patch. Gonna get fixed though in the next beta patch. I mean, it's already fixed, so should be fixed anyways after this game. As there is a beta patch already out. All right, let's use another fire breath. Oh, yeah, nice. He canceled it. Boom. Oh, what did Mr. Orc pit? Oh, wow. Whip does absolutely nothing at all. That is. Wow, Balrog is horrendous right now. Balrog is a joke. He cannot do anything to Mordor base. Like, literally nothing. He's like Pleb. Pleb Balrog. Oh, there's the Balrog. That's why we evacuated everything. No, poor Mumikill. Get out of there. Keep the pressure going, though. We gotta try to keep the pressure going as much as possible. He is trying to rebuild, though. Use Devastation. We have Darkness up. Try to rebuild here, but I don't think he's going to do too much here. 
Let's try to rebuild here. Looks like uh, flying canceled our building, though. <laughs> nice. There we have. Nice trample there. He doesn't have too much here at home. All right, we can queue up some units. He didn't. He's not gonna really do too much, I think. The Balrog is very messed up right now. All right, darkness up and running now. Should be able to take out the Citadel again, hopefully, if we can. Use our eye over here. Yes, nice. We got that Citadel down again. That's gonna be good for us here. But we do have to rebuild a lot here. Especially our Citadel. That takes a long time to rebuild, so... We only have one Orc Pit. So I think this game is still gonna go on for quite a while. Or not a while, but maybe a little bit longer. Since he's gonna definitely rebuild himself a little bit. But we do have our Citadel up faster, so we should be able to end him before he gets up and running. And we're gonna take map control... Because I believe he has pretty much the whole map, right? We have been completely ignoring the whole entire map control. That's actually impressive that we've been able to have our eco this good without any map control at all. We have like, what? The middle maybe is all we have. Alright, let's try to get better. Yeah, he has everything on the map. That is actually really bad for us. He's been having infinite funds. I mean, we haven't been struggling for eco too much either, so it's not too big of a deal. Alright, let's rebuild everything. And, uh, so we can build up our army again. Alright, going to try to remember what we need. Just a lot of freaking uh, combos, I guess. We gotta rebuild all of our Nazgul or Witch King. We lost everything. Trying to finish him off there. Okay. Try to get him away from our eco, though. All right, let's get everything queued up now. We gotta try to end him down quick. Try to finish this off once and for all. But he has the whole entire map, so I mean, he has a crazy eco. All right, let's use industry there. Let's use everything we can. Try to capture this bag. Try to go in, put some pressure on. Get this map control going. We're getting some of it here, but he still has all of his spell beast. Uh, retaking back everything once we take it back, so not working out. So we might have to just go for the ender here. Just go for his base, try to end it out. We have enough funds for now, at least. We have enough to build up a big army and try to go for a uh, finisher here. Keep going. Oh, he might lose a fell beast. That's gonna be good for us, though. Oh, yeah. Get him. Nice. That's good. That's gonna make him a lot weaker. Okay, pick up a tree. I can't pick up any trees. What the heck is going on? Can't pick up. There we go. Finally. Still being lazy here. Don't want to cocky anything. Just lazy <laughs> making units. Get your bows. We dealt with some of the map control, but it doesn't really matter. We have to go for a finisher now. Who cares about the map control when you just finish him off? He's very wounded. And we gotta try to finish him now. Oh, he's not really going down though. He wants to fight. Let's use everything here. I have Sauron. We don't have darkness. He has darkness. That's bad. We're going to probably lose this, but we're going to just delay. Him. And uh, it's going to allow our army to get up there into position. Orcs. 
Yeah, I'm gonna lose this to Dark. This is a little bit too much here. We don't have... There's Witch King. He has Witch King over there as well. We're gonna lose that heavily. Maybe we can try to pincer maneuver him a little bit here. Try to close in from two sides at once. We have every single Fell Beast back. Nah, just fall back. We really don't have too much anymore. I just want to go for a big push on his base. I really don't care about these armies that he has. I just want to go right for that base. But we lost a lot there. We lost our entire ground army. I don't want to really throw this right now. As long as we have a big army. Try to take a good fight here. A decisive fight. We're going to have Balrog up soon. Play it safe. Play patient. Don't throw. The moment kill. Okay. We have darkness now. We can use it. We can try to win here. Yeah, we're going to win out a decisive victory again. That's just what we want. That's going to definitely weaken him drastically. And then we can go for a final attack now. But he's everywhere all at once. Trying to attack from multiple angles here. Yeah, he's, he's going to keep on spamming these guys. But we have Balrog now. Even do some damage to his uh, combos there. His Arc Archers, I should say. Queue up stuff. Go for that Citadel. Try to make it out of action. Yeah, he's three freaking Orc Pits spamming out Orc Archers left and right. Alright, there we have it. Let's fire breath. Wow, he has a big army, actually. What the heck is this? Oh, yeah. We have Screech, though. But guys, get over here. Stop lollygagging around. Actually, let's go for the base. Alright, nice. Gonna be able to take out all those orc pits. That's gonna stop him now from that spam. I mean, it's a good spam. He, that's what he needs to do. He needs to do that to counter our Mumakill armies, but... We're just going to finish him off in this case. Oh, yeah, the Balrog summon again. Build me an army. Worthy of Mordor. Oh, yeah. Look at that, boys. A base race. But we should be able to win before that. Come on, Mumakill. Mumakill are so slow. I don't know how that cancelled our Citadel, but okay. Yeah, he's not going to be able to do too much here. We cleaned up everything. His whole army there is no more. And we have a massive army still, so that's going to be probably the end of the game here. What a finale here. And once again, guys, if you enjoyed this type of content, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one for more action. And that's a pretty good one, pretty good FFA, two Balrogs, one Gondor action game. It was a nice one. And just a few more towers left here, and we shall achieve a victory. Let's take a look at the post-game stats as well. It's going to be interesting to see the stats here, who had the resources, who had the most units destroyed. And there we have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Victorious. Oh, yeah. Take a look at the stats now. Let's see. Let's see. GG's well played. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. There we have it. All right. There we have a Look at that. Enemy units destroyed 1260. Yeah, he did indeed have more resources collected than us that time as well. And what a game, what a game. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, peace out, stay safe, and see you guys next time.